how are you doing today? I hope that you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. I can't believe that we are already partway through October and that I'm doing my October, November TBR. As you guys saw in my third quarterly wrap up, um, my husband is beating me and I can't have that. Can't have that. So, um, my TBR is tentative as long as I can get it in audiobook because, because I, uh, I do have, um, a, a, a new reading goal, which is 150 books because I got to my 120 book goal and now my husband bumped his up to 150 and I feel like I can do 152. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to uh, sort of go back and forth between like um, books that I don't have physically and then books that I do have physically. So I am currently binge reading The Vampire Knitting Club by Nancy Warren. I am on, what book am I on? I am on book nine right now, Popcorn and Poltergeist. I have read in the month of October so far nine books and as of right now it is the 12th of of October so um I'm like just going through the audiobooks the audiobooks are so flipping good and so I do plan on reading um the rest in this series for this month and there are I think there are 12 so far in this series and so right now I'm reading uh, Popcorn and Poltergeist and then after that, I'm going to be reading, um, there is like an 8.5 of this series, which I'm really excited about because it's Christmas themed. Look at that Christmas sweater. <laughs> and that one is Cat's Paws and Curses. Oh, actually, I should have read that one. I should have read that one before Popcorns and Poltergeists. Guys, I am failing. I need to go back and get that one. Um, I'm going to read Garters and Gargoyles. Diamonds and Daggers, uh, Herring Bones and Hexes, Ribbing and Runes, and Mosaics and Magic. Now, I am worried. There has not been a new Vampire Knitting Club book since September of 2022. So it's been a year. And she was coming out with two a year up until book 14. I'm gonna be real sad if this series is over. But she does have other series that I think that I'm going to um, dive into. It's the other series is, um, I think it's, it's like another witchy one. The other series, which looks like it's going to be fan freaking tastic, is The Great Witch's Baking Show. And it looks like there are, um, let's see, nine in that series so far so yeah those are like goals goals um I will the audiobooks are just so much fun and they're so they're about I think like six hours long um but I read at two speed so I can read one of them in three hours which is super super nice but I do have some from my good old TBR cart that I've been meaning to get to and I think I think now is the time I will have um I will have fall break but fall break I'm going to be in Ashland this month I'm going to go and meet Ellie Alexander and TJ and Spencer and just like a whole bunch of really really fun and amazing people so I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done but then there is Thanksgiving break in November and so I think that I think that I've got some I've got some downtime that hopefully I'll be able to read so one of the books that I'm really excited about reading is Silenced for the Dead by Simone St. James. You guys know I have a weakness for Simone St. James and she does 
does dual timelines really really well um it says in 1919 kitty weeks pretty successful uh resourceful and on the run falsifies her background to obtain a nursing position at portis house a remote once magnificent estate turned hospital for soldiers left shell-shocked by the horrors of the great war hiding the shame of their mental instability the patients suffer from nervous attacks and tormenting dreams but something more is going on at portis house its plaster is crumbling its plumbing makes eerie noises and strange breaths of cold air waft through the empty rooms and why do the patients share the same nightmare one so horrific they dare not speak of it it's gonna be creepy and i'm all for that the next book i got was a i believe it was a birthday gift for me it's the appeal one murder 15 suspects can you uncover the truth by janice hallett this book looks fantastic it says um the fairway players a local theater group is in the midst of rehearsals when tragedy strikes the family of director martin hayward and his wife helen the play's star their young granddaughter has been diagnosed with a rare form of cancer and with experimental treatments costing tremendous sum their classmates rally to raise money to give her a chance at survival but not everybody is convinced of the experimental treatment's efficacy nor of the good intentions of those involved as tensions grow within the community things come to a shocking head at the explosive rehearsal the next day a dead body is found and soon an arrest is made in the run-up to the trial two young lures sift through materials emails messages letters with a growing suspicion that the killer may be hiding in plain sight the evidence is all there between the lines waiting to be uncovered i love mixed media um books so like when it's got emails and like handwritten letters and like different things like that i like i read that so much like it's got like post-it notes like this just this is a book that i don't want to read via audiobook because like here's like the text bubbles i feel like this is one that you want to read physically and I want to be able to highlight and I want to be able to annotate it and I want to be able to make notes on it you know what I mean so there's that the next book has been on my TBR for years like it I, I know that um this is one of my uh a couple of my friends favorite books like they love it a lot so I don't know why I have not picked it up this one also has mixed media I think like a little bit and it is a good girl's guide to murder i heard that the audiobook is fantastic but it says when you ask people what happened to andy bell they'll tell you without hesitation she was murdered by salil singh not allegedly no might have no probably no most likely he did it they say sal killed andy but i'm not so sure um i love the idea that that this young teenage girl is doing her own podcast and is doing her own sort of like um investigation into how andy died and this this just looks like a lot of fun and it should be a quick read for me um when i get the time to sit down and read the next book i have is a cozy mystery that i've been meaning to get to and it is under lock and skeleton key by gg um pandian this is a secret case mystery series and i just love the cover it's so flipping pretty um i just think it's really really cool and it says after a disastrous accident uh, derails tempest raj's career and life she heads back to her childhood home in california to comfort herself with her grandfather's home-cooked indian meals though she resists every day brings her closer to the inevitable working for her father's company secret staircase construction specializes in bringing the magic of childhood to all by transforming clients homes with sliding bookcases intricate locks backyard tree houses and hidden reading nooks i would hire this company when tempest visits her dad's latest renovation project her former stage double is discovered dead inside a wall that's supposedly been sealed for more than a century fearing she was the intended victim it's up to tempest to solve this seemingly impossible crime as she delves further into the mystery tempest can't help but wonder if the raj family curse that's plagued her family for generations something she used to swear didn't exist has finally come for her and last but 
certainly not least is a book that I bought at the most recent adult book fair hosted by Magic City Books from um, here in Tulsa and it's Dead 11 Jimmy by Jimmy Gi Giuliano. This cover was just so cool and I know my son's gonna be like what's a VHS? You know how they go. All right it says on a creepy island where everyone has a strange obsession obsession with the year 1994 a newcomer arrives hoping to learn the truth about her son's death that just that automatically got me i'm like obsessed with 1994 how old were you in 1994 show your age let me know in 1994 i was four but it just it sounds super super fun and um just like a a fun quirky campy kind of read but those are the books that i hope to get into in october and november some are very much um, october kind of reads other ones are just cozy mystery type of reads what are you planning on reading over the next couple of months uh i want to know but that's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.